Witam wszystkim, wszystkich w kolejnym odsłonie Max Payne 3. Odcinek trzeci. Skończyliśmy tutaj na tej wysepce. Tu nas pasos. Um, zostawił. A my idziemy dalej. Musimy tutaj uratować siostry. Kogoś tam musimy uratować. A no to dobrze idę. Aha. Nikogo nie ma. Nie. Co? Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. Yeah, you're supposed to protect that. A bullet will sometimes work as well as a key. Gdybyś e, ją protect, good protection have, gdybyś się dobrze ochraniał, to by nie było gry, no. Proste. I had no idea what lay ahead, and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. And right now. Nie ma golden, 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 golden parts to golden guns. Nikto? Nie będziemy. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. Dwóch. Nie dobrze. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a gun in his hand. To sobie utonę. <laughs> no, but uh, oh well. Tak to jest, jak się ręcznie nie zaciąga. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oops. 
I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. This was a second request for payment. The best of intentions at the stadium weren't enough to cover it. Okay. The room I'd seen was somewhere up ahead. Trzeba sobie broń pozbierać. I didn't have time to wallow in guilt and misery. Just shoot and move. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. Anyone? Yes, I No, 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 schowanie się przez co tracę pękilers Trzeba było wychodzić. Trzeba było być ukrytym. Stali w ukryciu, ok.
was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed it. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. I could hear drilling through the wall. It sounded more like boat hull than bone, but I needed to be sure. Okay. Okay. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. I was in a cocaine factory, but I, it seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Hmm. I opened the door to the next circle of this low-rent hell. Widziałem. 
A któryś tutaj na mnie czeka? Tiki, tiki. Ten rzucasz? Puta, coś tam, coś tam. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. It seemed to Mr. Serrano like to be prepared. Mm. Proper little boy scout. Very prepared. I could get through on the catwalk if I went back into the other room. Sami się rozwalili. Tam ich trochę jest. Jednak mniej. Jeszcze 
Vamos! Vem do dedo! Vai pra cá! Eu acho que tá Foda-se, caralho! Eu acho que tá Hum. Dois ou mais, tu? Tá bom? Dobra. I jeszcze ktoś tu jest. I hadn't seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following the trail of her fingers. I had to keep on going across the docks. Useful out there. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. Mm -hmm. so, Maybe a few years before that as well. Well, yeah, my daughter is that kind of guy.
Ma poi ho fatto il campo di sviluppo. Gdzie mnie teraz tu wróciło? No ja tam dopłynąłem. Hmm? Tu, tu, a dobrze. Kabum! Wydaje mi się pęknęło. Hop. Ktoś tu wyjdzie? Max! 
gerne mit dir essen. Ah, also. Ah. Da ist es tak blisko wyłem, no. Pasos. Teraz ty byś się przydał. Pasos. Zarabiu, no. O wielku mowa, a wielk tu. Spik and the devil. No, no, right. Prawie wybuchłem. Co jest? Co jest? Co jest? Co jest? That way. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Come on. Operation slipped out of our grip. I was an overconfident jump going into the jungle alone. Shit, more company. There's another boat in the damn way. I can't get a shot. Hello? 
Dobrze, że gadać. Go, 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 go. Fajna rozpiłka. Very cool. Hey, you see that? Shit, look out for Hey, I got an idea. Hold on. Okay. Let's see your idea. Ah shit. No, no, no. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. 
It almost had her. Damn. No. Never had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Shit. Yeah. It's all crazy now. I'm stopping Sam. But I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. The fool I was to get involved in this madness. Ale mam ochotę na chiński Hey Max, what is it with you in interior design? You really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel. This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, not the move. Okay, sorry, bro. Boss wants to see us. Let's go. Come on. No, come on. Take your time, man. Take your time. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Bon dia. Você está aí? O que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in South Pablo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Sr. Brando. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Decker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing, for sure. Now this is different. This is the Emperor. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Oof. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Decker, see you on. Let us give you a ride. Oh. Até logo, senhor. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Brown. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. I mean, I talk to you, I don't see money. Not my wife. I'm not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, 
despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. Maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tenho uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bad cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded oh, by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. Sim, pode entrar. Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars to the inspector to push a button and be able to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk. A bit of false confidence. Don Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Down behind the desk. Now, close. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. I lost half a second in a gunfight. Stick by me. I'd woken up with a headache and it was only getting worse. That was the office Victor used at Fabricast Bronco. Hey, moment. Informatico. Dobra. Nie, tylko jedno. Dobrze, to to. This code should get us into the portal. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! What the hell? Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. No rush. Move dupa. Move dupa. Rush dupa. It's through here. Well, I'll be protected. Oh, so we better move. Ah, no, 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 no. The servers are this way. Oh, that's right. 
Moment, jest tutaj coś do wzięcia? Tak, jest. To sobie weźmy. They could replace these on Monday morning. I będzie znowu rozpięć ducha. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Hey, we're good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone. No. Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless, but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. I wish I could say the same thing. The fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell a kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Abra o caminho, pessoal! 
просто ой я Конкретно. Добра. Я это нам боя ту. И зараз. Разберем только. This or what? In a few minutes, eh? It should be in time to get the system, get all the components back online. Maybe the system comes off. That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Okay. No, that's him to the water. Yeah, Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Postarans. Just concentrate on staying alive. Postarans. Sir, nie rozwalić tego miejsca. There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. Tutaj mamy Golden Gun. Aha, już go widziałem wcześniej. One of the perks of working for Fabricas Bronco. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they have the common touch. Hello, yes, So, Alaska. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
Seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. Nie wiem, po prostu. Co tam w środku jest? Nic, szkoda. Ale dobra, da. I chyba na tym skończymy. To tutaj jodka w tym autobiurowcu. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cave. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Yo so tente. Senor Branco, open up. Yo so tente. Yo so tente. I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Rodrigo is dead. God damn it! Of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. Couldn't get playback on one of the cameras, and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key, but then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, she was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good. Ah. Picking a photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Oh God! No trouble. Ah, it's no trouble. Are they just on? Only blind luck. It meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. If the heat didn't kill me, the fumes would. Im dłużej tu będę, tym nie mam powietrzu do oddychania i mogę o właśnie teraz to zrobione. Zginąć. Tak, zginąć. Dobra, jeszcze raz dzięki za oglądanie i do następnego czwartego już odcinku ma... Czwartego? Tak, czwartego odcinku Maxa Payna trójki. Jeszcze raz dzięki, pozdrawiam i na razie.